Okay. Right off the bat. Let me restart my, refresh my Twitch uh, thing. Or my, yeah, my dashboard. I'm an idiot. Um, refresh this up. I'm excited for this one. I, I am excited for this one. This one will be some hype. Because this will really make me decide whether or not. I, I mean, at some point in the future, I'll have to get. I'll have to get this game. Okay, I'll have to buy it. Whenever it goes on sale. And stuff like that. I'll have to get it. I mean, this shit fire. I mean, who doesn't like Resident Evil 4, okay? Resident Evil 4 was... I don't know, arguably the best one. The best Resident Evil game that came out. Arguably. So, so, some people... You know, some, you know, some people can make... I guess their own decision, but as I've seen, Resident Evil 4 has always kind of been that one uh, really popular like Resident Evil game that a lot of people remember. I don't know if it's just because of the characters or anything of the sort. I don't know, but we're here to find out and check out this freaking remake, though. This is a complete remake of the game, actually... I was actually in the stream when they first did the world premiere of it. But of this, and Silent Hill is also coming out with a new game itself. I'm also excited about the new the new Silent Hill remake and stuff. The new Silent Hill remake looks fucking awesome. I cannot express to you guys how excited I'm about that one as well. Like, these remakes they're doing, these revamps, they're fire. Y'all already know. I'm excited for all of those, but we're gonna go ahead and press confirm for these settings. Um that should be good. Minimal brightness. I think we'll be good there. Oh my god. And I remember watching a little like teaser gameplay too, like around when they first revealed uh this game and stuff. When they first revealed it and stuff like that. They uh they show a little teaser gameplay and guys the graphics look absolutely phenomenal. I'm sorry I'm I'm just I'm just a little bit excited okay. So obviously this game I think this is supposed to come out um if I remember I think uh, this one is supposed to come out uh March. Around March 20th, maybe March 25th. I can't remember the exact date when uh, the Resident Evil 4's uh, remake is supposed to come out. So, but as I have said, it it's it's amazing. Oh, oh yeah, it's just all this, all that stuff. Okay, just you can play data. Can, your play data can be viewed on Resident Evil Net. When shared Resident Evil Net play data is turned off. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't have that. Um, yes, I haven't. Well, the only up to date Resident Evils I have played was Resident Evil 7. And. Was it Resident Evil 7? That was the most up to date Resident Evil I played. I haven't played. I have played Village. From a demo, but I have yet to actually uh, get the game and actually play that. So, yeah, I <laughs> I haven't yet played that yet. So, but yeah, this shit, <laughs> oh, this shit will be fire. But yeah, this is the chainsaw demos. It, if you guys are curious of what it's actually called, man, two thousand five. That's fucking crazy. Two thousand five, man. That's when, I think that's when the fourth uh, Resident Evil actually did came out. It was either 2005 or 2004. I can't remember the exact date. But, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this shit. That <laughs> look fire. Oh yeah, play for the main star and experience the nightmare. Y'all already know your boy is going to be doing that. So I can't wait to see all the remade. Like obviously, I'm gonna remember the majority of this stuff because obviously I have played the actual game, the September original. September thirtieth, nineteen ninety-eight. Oh. Full storyline. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out. Thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. Hold up, let me, let me turn the volume a little bit. My bad for uh, that. <laughs> I had to turn up the damn volume a little bit. Okay. Uh, continue. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training. Punishing missions. Nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. Oh my god, the graphics look so fucking good! Holy shit. Oh my god. I I'm excited for this shit. This shit looking fire. And this is actually like one of the originals. Like, obviously Resident Evil 7 and Village were definitely a whole different prospect because those were like first person experiences. Like, Resident Evil 7 was definitely a lot more like jump scare horror while village was more towards that like kind of getting near that element of what the original resident evils were supposed to be like i feel like this one might have a mix of the both it might have a mix of the horror aspect but also that old resident evil feel aspect that a lot of us resident evil fans kind of remember and stuff like that so it's been six years since Leon S. Kennedy survived the Raccoon City incident, an unpredicted biological catastrophe caused by the Umbrella Corporation. Having dis distinguished himself as a U.S. special agent, he is tasked with locating the president's missing daughter. The search has brought him to an isolated village in Europe, where intel suggests the kidnapped girl was last sighted. Even Leon's past trauma could not prepare him for the nightmare of the insanity he would find there. Oh yeah, this shit gonna be fire. Now obviously the stream's probably only gonna be like a few minutes. But let's see. Also look at the stunning graphics. I cannot oh my god. Can I go in there? No, I can't, okay. Like guys, look at the I mean guys, you, you guys cannot ask for anything better. I mean Capcom knows how to make games. They they just are phenomenal like developers. Very passionate developers out in Japan, I'm telling you. Very passionate game developers. I'll say the run. Oh. Or R one the run. Okay. So there's two different ways. There's different ways to run, but Dude, this is phenomenal. This is absolutely fucking phenomenal. I cannot. <sighs> Oof. That's definitely a sacrifice goat. I'm pretty sure it's like... Was there ever a crouch in the original? I don't think there was ever a crouch in the original. Dude, but look at this. I cannot express to you guys how insane this looks. I mean, compared to the original. Oh, this is so different. Oh, this is so much more diffy. On a whole different level, dude. Also, let's look around for any, like, secrets or whatever. Because you don't know. Maybe they have secrets on here, so... I 
just look around here real quick. But yeah, I mean, just very passionate developers, dude. I mean, just to remake a iconic Resident Evil game that a lot of us would remember if we played Resident Evil. Like I said, Resident Evil 4 was definitely my most favorite. I didn't like the other ones, personally. Except for the 7th and Village. Those were actually pretty good. Okay. Anyone home? Okay, yeah, we just gotta walk into a random home without knocking on the door. This looks absolutely phenomenal, dude. Uh that's not concerning, isn't it? Uh crude charm judgment is nigh. Interesting, uh, analogy. See it's in there. In there? No. Like I said, walking around, just taking the time to look around is important. Oh yeah, it's just a bedroom, okay. I thought it was like a little secret compartment. I wish I could turn my headphones up a little louder, like, I, I hate these headsets for this reason. Because when I first got them, they, yeah, they didn't have a, didn't have a good time, so nothing seems to be up back here. Let's go out of the store real quick. Whoa, okay, there, the old man. I remember the old man. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Uh, yeah, I would definitely be saying that too. Okay, speaking Spanish. So in this one, you speak Spanish, okay. Uh, that, that's not suspicious at all. You find the badge? Okay. Okay. We getting this. I know that motherfucker ain't fully dead. This is not good. Hunter's Lodge key. Let's go. So. Man, that stinks. Okay, they got a narration for a majority of things, I'm guessing? I mean, that's pretty nice. What the fuck is that? I, I don't even want to know what the fuck that is. That's crazy. It's like, oh yeah, ironically, we find a uh, police badge. <laughs> yeah, that that's not uh, highly suspicious with blood on it. Yeah, I mean that's a telltale sign. Dude, this is so badass. Also, these rhymes on the wall. I wish I could read those. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, this one's gonna be. This is gonna be interesting. What the fuck? Oh no. Okay, hold up. I gotta make sure my uh, voice. Uh, fuck. I should have thought of this sooner. I gotta make sure my mic is actually uh, playing for audio. Hold up. Let me make sure because. Uh, okay. Okay, it is. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I don't know why all of a sudden I thought about that, but. Okay, we're back to it. Problem is, is that I don't know Spanish. Maybe if you guys know Spanish, maybe you guys could read that. Cause I, I don't know any Spanish. Hey. 
Uh, that's a dead police officer. That's not good. I read you. What's your situation? Obviously not something good. That poor man got fucked. Oh, pistol ready though. What was that? No fucking way. Oh shit. Okay. Nope. Oh, good thing I pressed the right button, actually. This just keeps getting worse. Hey, there's no fucking ammo? I got no ammo? Also, hold up. I need to take off that freaking, uh... Uh, that kind of control where it actually feels like you're pressing on the fucking trigger of a gun. And it takes force to actually press the trigger. Yeah, let me... Let me get rid of that fucking control. Okay, that, that shit... That shit do be, uh, uh, fucking with me, like, so bad. Because I'll, like, be pressing the trigger, and it'll, like, yeah. Adaptive tr triggers. Uh, turn the trigger effect function. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. That's better. I just wasted a round, but you know what? I had to make sure I turned it off right. Uh-oh. Where would I go? Shit, I can't go in there. Fuck. Where the fuck am I gonna go, man? I got three shots of my pistol. This is not good. This shit is not good. Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our Hunnigan. intel was correct then. Well done. Need a location on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. <laughs> Gotta go. Talk later. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll let myself out. I'll let myself out. There you go. Sucks to be you, bitch. Interesting back here that I should be aware of. No, don't seem like it. But it's kind of bad that I have no ammo. I have fucking three bullets. <laughs> I only got three bullets left. Is that good? Oh shit, this is definitely not a sketchy ass bridge. See, bridges like this are very sketchy. Because you don't know when that one plank is about to break and you don't even know if it's half on and you can step on it and all of a sudden you'd be falling <laughs> alright so I know I had to pull out my knife and just slice the shit oh, okay there we go alright yep it's just like the same old controls I remember Except for that, you can now crouch and do that stuff. 
And now you can crouch and like do stuff like that. Hey, that's the same mechanic. Wow. Okay, that's gunpowder, but you see, the problem is, is that I kind of need some, uh, what is it, take rolls? I, I forgot what the fuck they're called. Now it's becoming sunny all of a sudden. So you can only destroy the ones with the yellow uh, paint on it, which is kind of... Oh, okay. These guys are some freaking... Okay. Oh shit, there's ammo right there. Let's fucking go. There we go. Oh, it also has a plus one to let you know that you have one in the chamber at the moment. Okay. I like this. I mean, they do take into account, like, I guess, like, realism with firearms and stuff like that, so. That I can honestly appreciate them doing. Crowd, stand, I know what to do. Don't need to tell me. But dude, this is an absolute stunning. Oh my god. It's, it's absolutely stunning. If I had a 4K TV, this shit would look a little better, but... It's alright though. Oh yeah, we got the coins now. Okay, now we're starting to find some coins. Whoa, no. Pop bitch. Oh shit. Alright. Uh wait wait wait. Run up and kill it. Oh shit! Never mind. No dude. Okay, so we're off the bat. Okay, they waste no time with these type of enemies. Oh wait, sorry. There we go. Okay, so the remake wastes no time with those kind of enemies. Okay. I hope we don't get... Uh, well, okay. Let me not say what kind of enemies we're probably going to have to go against. Because I have a feeling that future down the line with this game. Or more further down the storyline. I think we're going to run into some extendo heads. And I'm not going to say anymore. Because some things will... Fuck your shit up. Also, I saw that bear trap too. Yeah, I remember this too well. No! Oh! Holy fuck! Wait, nope! Oh my, oh my. Okay, he's fucking my shit. Put his ass down, please. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Let me open up inventory. Yep. I exactly remember what to do. Aha! Yeah, it literally... Okay. So, they haven't changed much, actually. Which I'm kind of grateful, to be honest. A flash grenade already. Okay. Oh! Okay, so instead of the old-fashioned, which was like... You would have to go into your inventory and then, like, equip the weapon from there. Now it's different. Also, wait a minute. That has a... Oh, no way. The knife now has a freaking duration? So you can only use it a limited amount of times before it breaks. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this shit is not... That... Oh boy. This is gonna be a lot more harder than the original, I can imagine. I can imagine this being a little harder than the original. Oh boy. Okay, that was a man's head. Alright. 
Oh boy, this is gonna be also look at what it is now. Oh boy. The frickin' village. I love this spot. That's a piece of my man. He got burned at the stake. I'm taking this backwards. I, I know what to do on this. It's actually, they kept the same layout almost. They just have moved some things around. Like most of the layout, I remember. Oh, they actually kept the woman there. Okay. Kept her there. Uh oh. Ow! Fucking chicken. It, it, it. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Bitch! Get fucked. Oh, shit! I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention! There goes nothing. Fuck you, bitch. Get your next stab. Okay, time to run to the house. Yep. Time to run. Yep. I'm taking a time to run to that damn house. See ya, bitch. That bitch almost hit me with that damn tomahawk. Okay, just ironic that they switch it to that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Got that shit? Time to go upstairs. Got that damn shotgun, you already know what we gotta do. Kick it down. Okay, I, I like I like Leon's cocky attitude. They kind of kept that. I respect that. Yeah, bitch. Oh fuck! That motherfucker is going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Nope. You get out of there, bitch. Fuck. Oh, fuck. What the fuck happened right there? Okay, wait, it kinda bugged for a second. Oh! Ugh, oh, bitch. Holy fuck, there's too many. Too many bitches! Go to run. Don't run for a minute. Oh, yes. That was a slick move, actually. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, this motherfucker's roof. Compared to the original. No! Oh no! Nope! Run away! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I barely dodged that man doing that. Okay, are you finally dead? All right, good. You're dead. R2 smash! Oh! Oh shit, okay, hold up. Hold up for a second. Let me use the heal. Holy shit. Right, I got a flash. What am I doing? Okay, bitch. Oh no. Run around the house. I play around the Rosie. 
How long does it take for this thing to ring? There you go, bud. Have fun with that. Shit, I'm in the bit of a sticky situation with no ammo. You gotta be kidding me. These fuckers will not leave me be, man. I'm about to hop down. My poor man that had no ammo or anything for me. Oh boy. I only got two bullets left. Let's make these bullets count real quick. How about that? Come here, bitch! <clears throat> Fuck you. Just hop down real quick. Open the door. Oh, I ran into a family home. I'm sorry. Okay, hold up. Shoot that. Or, nope. Another hand grenade. Hand grenade. Throw it now. Uh-oh, that's bad. Grab the shit. Grab that shit. Fuck you, bitches. I just fucking... Oh. Oh, yes, the bell. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. The bell has finally saved me. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Mm. I'm telling you guys, once I once this game goes on sale and once I get the money to get it, I'm getting it. I'm motherfucking getting it. No doubt about that. I am getting this game. Oh my god, that was... I was close! I said March 25th, it's actually the 24th. No fucking way. I was actually close about it. No fucking way I was that fucking close. Your boy's good. Your boy's good at his guesses. Holy shit. A phenomenal demo, I had to give him that. And I mean, literally, it's just like, I mean, obviously there's some things that were like changed from like the original. I will say like, uh, the one thing I can say they did change from like the very beginning. Mm, I don't know, honestly. I, I think everything was kept the same in the very first chapter. Or within like the first part of the first chapter. It wasn't... There wasn't really any difference. It's just that the environment was different. It plays the same. Literally plays just like the original. Obviously with... You know... With more up to date like... Console games and stuff like that. The controls are a little different. Like the aim and shooting are a little different. Because it's the back bumpers instead of the front bumpers. And stuff like that, so, you know, that's the only difference. Other than that, this game literally just plays, like, the complete original. Uh, like I said, there's a few differences, different mechanics. Like, you can crouch now. Like, that's a big difference and stuff. Obviously, there has always been running in the game. What's another mechanic that was different, I noticed? Probably another one I noticed was that instead of like, instead of you like having to pull out your knife every time to destroy the boxes or like the one boxes that are highlighted, instead you just press X on the box now, which is a little different. Uh, I, it's alright with me, you know, it, it definitely is probably 
a little better for the uh, people that aren't used to playing the original because like i said if you haven't played the original of this i do highly recommend playing the original and then when this game comes out then probably give this game a try and see as like i said literally this is a complete remaster of the original complete remaster i i mean the graphics are phenomenal i mean you, you gotta imagine the amount of passion that's put into this game and stuff like that. Like, I mean, the passion that is put into it is amazing. It's such an amazing ass game and stuff. Like, it's just phenomenal. It's beautiful graphics. Dialogue definitely seems beautiful as well and stuff like that. I'm loving the, I'm loving the dialogue. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't mind Leon's uh, voice actor and stuff. He definitely sounds like him. Sound like the original Leon. I ain't gonna lie. He's, he's kind of cocky. He has a cocky uh, mentality. Like, I, I like that. I, I like that they kind of kept with that personality of Leon because Leon was definitely a cocky. He he was definitely a cocky son of a bitch. He he definitely was. So, I'm glad that they stuck with that with him. I'm curious to see what they do with uh, the president's daughter because, like, sh sh that that won't be an interesting one to see is how they do with her, like what they end up doing with her and stuff like that. So, but I mean, like I said, more up to date mechanics. Obviously, you can now change your weapons by using the D-pad and stuff like that compared to the original, where in the original. You had to actually go into your inventory and then press equipped. Like, yeah, actually, I had to go into your inventory and then press equip weapons and shit like that. You had to do that, which I honestly didn't mind. Obviously, that was kind of the mechanic at the time. You know, you gotta think about it. It was 2005. I mean, early 2000 games weren't perfect, but they were awesome to play. So. You know, like I said, absolutely phenomenal job on the developer side of things. I mean, they kept pretty much with majority of the storyline. They they kind of kept with the storyline, which is what I've what I always like keep in high regards when it comes to remasters is do they stick with the story? Do they stick with the original storyline? Like, do they remaster some cutscenes? Or do they keep some of the same cutscenes? And obviously, as you've seen, there were some changes in some of the cutscenes, but it kept with the original. And it made sense and stuff. Like, you know, a, actually, a good example of it. When the person. <clears throat> when the uh, person. Uh, when Leon first entered the house, obviously, the house's layout is much more different, too. Obviously, a lot of these buildings are a lot more different and stuff. They're not like the original. Like, probably the only building I would... Probably the only buildings I would say that look kind of familiar was kind of like the church and the village itself. The village itself actually looked kind of similar and stuff. It looked about the same layout and stuff like that. It looked the same. There were some... Like, the very first building was definitely a little bit more different layout and stuff it was a little bit more different but i like the idea of what they were going with like like i said in that one cutscene where he confronts the guy at the campfire about you know like have you seen somebody or have seen this girl you know like because what happened in the original was when he did that in the cutscene he showed the picture of the girl to the guy and he, I'm guessing the guy just tells him to go screw off, and then he swings at him with an axe. But in this one, in the remaster, it's completely different. It's kind of interesting that they got this Leon to actually speak Spanish. That was a very interesting little twist right there. Like, they got him to start speaking Spanish. That's pretty cool. And, you know, he didn't swung at him and pretty much ignored Leon until he found the police badge on the ground and you know that was a difference right there that was the big difference and then Leon freaking like whoops his ass right there like, like yeah it's 
Yeah, they definitely changed a lot of things. Like, the building, the first building you enter now has a basement. That is very different. Uh, that that That's a cool section. I like it, though. I, I like what they are doing. I like the route they are taking with this remaster. Like I said, it makes sense. Because it kind of keeps with the original script, the original storyline, and stuff like that. Which is something I, like I said, always keep in high regards. So I absolutely love that. A lot. I absolutely love that and everything. Like I said, this game's going to be absolutely phenomenal when it comes out. Um... Obviously, I'm not first good. I'm not going to be the one to get it right away and stuff like that. I'm not going to get it right away, obviously. I'm going to wait until either it gets on the sale or, you know, something of that of the sort. And obviously, when I have money, I can get the game and stuff like that because at the moment, I'm kind of broke. So, <laughs> so you know, I'm, I have that going for it at the moment. But absolutely phenomenal remaster i this one i like a lot i guess I, I can say how many times how many times i fucking like this get yeah, like like this I, I i like it a lot um i'm curious if they are going to come out with a silent hill uh remaster demo i wonder if they're actually going to do that because i don't know if any of you guys are informed or if any of you guys know, but there's also, not only this was revealed, but there was also a Silent Hill remake revealed. It's the second Silent Hill of the uh, Silent Hill series, which the second Silent Hill was good. I, I like the second one a lot. The second one was awesome. Uh, I remember streaming the uh, second one a little while back when I had access to the HD collection. Obviously, that was when I had a PlayStation Now, but because it's PlayStation Now no longer is a thing, you know, I can't really stream that or anything, so, you know, that, that was awesome, uh, like, that's awesome that they're also remaking that, like I said, that one's gonna be awesome to see, like, I mean, they revealed three different games, they revealed this Resident Evil for a remake, and then they also revealed the Silent Hill 2 remake. Which I hope they come out with a demo with because I do want to showcase the demo and stuff like that. Because I think the demo would be something you guys might like to see. And, um, what else? What else is there for me to... Oh yeah, the third game. The third game caught me by surprise. I ain't gonna lie. When they revealed the third game, right? When they revealed the third game... Like, obviously it took him a little while to actually, like, show, like, the, the title of the game or whatever. I thought it was going to be Forbidden Siren. I thought it was going to be a complete remake of Forbidden Siren, or it was going to be a new S Forbidden Siren game. I legitly thought it was going to be a new Siren game. I ain't gonna lie, because, obviously, S Forbidden Siren takes place in Japan in an abandoned village. Or, well, not in an abandoned village, but in the cult village and stuff like that. And that's kind of what was happening in the trailer or in the teaser they were showing. It was like, oh shit, they're actually going to remake or they're going to make a new Forbidden Siren game? Like, that was my first pr thought process I was going to. I was like, there's no way they're actually making another, another Siren game after this many years. Because if you guys don't know, the last Siren or Forbidden Siren like game to come out was back in 2013, 2014. That was the last time... That was, like, the last time they came out with a Siren game. So that's what I thought was thinking. Until they showed the end and showed the title and it was a new Silent Hill game. It's a completely new Silent Hill game. Obviously a few years back. Um, I think it was might have been two years ago. Or three. I can't remember. You guys can inform me when this gets posted on my uh, YouTube channel and stuff like that. So... You know, you guys know, but, uh, um, it was, uh, fuck, I'm trying to remember. I kind of, my brain went blank for a minute, but, uh, 
I'm trying to remember. Like, there was... Oh, yeah, that's right. It was a uh, teaser for what was supposed to be a new Silent Hill game. That Silent Hill game ended up getting cancelled. Like, they cancelled the development for the Silent Hill game, which... It was kind of weird because they had the teaser and everything, and it looked phenomenal. It looked like a great idea. But, you know, stuff happens behind the scenes that we don't know. And they ended up canceling the development of, uh, I think they call it, uh, Silent Hill PT or something like that, which was, like, that's what the title of the, um, that was the title of the, yeah, that was the title of the, um, the, uh, teaser and stuff they did. But yeah, it was called, uh, PT or something like that. I, I don't know what PT stands for, but... It was something like that. And, yeah, that ended up getting cancelled due to something happening. I, I can't remember what it was, but they ended up cancelling development of that Silent Hill game. So, I am hoping that this Silent Hill game is going to be final. I hope they are not going to cancel the development for this one. I hope they actually st stick with this one, because this one looks very interesting. And, as far as I can tell you guys with the new Silent Hills storyline I can like they already have like kind of like a storyline kind of all written out for it it's kind of uh it's kind of hard to um tell you, tell you guys but um Yeah, let me let me actually go into here real quick. What the hell? I don't need to do that. So wait, let me pull up the thing. Hopefully, they'll they'll tell me a little bit about the. Uh, Let me see if I can pull this up real quick before I end the stream, and then we'll we'll stream someone else for a little bit. Uh, yeah, Silent Hill 2 is the remake that is going to be released here soon. Um, here it is. Uh, it's called Silent Hill F. <laughs> That's all it's called. It's just called Silent Hill F. I don't know what the F stands for. No. Yeah, it, I don't know exactly, but there are, like, multiple different Silent Hill, like, stuff being revealed. There there was a Silent Hill 2 remake that's going to be coming out sometime this month, I believe. Um, hopefully they do come out with the, um, I'm hoping they do come out with a demo for Silent Hill 2 so I can stream that for you guys. So I can get my personal first-hand impressions on it. And decide whether or not it would be something I would want to get in the future. But, yeah, you got Silent Hill 2. Then you got Silent Hill Townfall. Which, I don't know much about that one. I'll, I would have to watch the teaser again for that. Like, there are so many different Silent Hill games coming out. It's kind of ridiculous how many there are. And then, obviously, the newest up-to-date one that will be coming out for consoles. I hope. It's the Silent Hill F. That that's all it's called. I I don't know what the F stands for. Like, I I, I want to know what they mean by F, because it, it it really is intriguing. Um, it really is very intriguing. Like, I want to know what it is. And, yeah, this is actually the ninth mainline game in the Silent Hill franchise. And the first mainline title in the franchise in over a decade. So it's almost been about ten years since they came out with a new Silent Hill game. And this is actually going to be a, a mainline storyline. But as I can remember from it, or what I can tell you guys about uh, Silent Hill F... 
Silent Hill F is going to be taking place in Japan. Which is one of the most intriguing facts that really stunned me. Was that, like, okay. Because we all remember, Silent Hill was in, uh, I think, Massachusetts. I think that's where it was located. I think Silent Hill was located here in the U.S. somewhere. I can't remember where. I think it was Massachusetts. I can't, I can't 100% confirm that. I would actually have to look it up, but, um, yeah, yeah, it, it's here in the U.S., but this Silent Hill, the Silent Hill F, is actually going to be taking place in Japan, in rural Japan, but this is the catch in the 1960s. This is way before all the bad things started happening in Silent Hill. This is before that. This is like 1960s period in rural Japan. Very intriguing because I'm very intrigued to see where they take the story because I wonder if this could be maybe the birth ground of like why Silent Hill in the Americas started becoming cursed or started, you know, why all the bad things are happening. You know what I mean? Like... That's what I'm very intrigued to see is how you can take a game where it's like kind of like it's it's supposed to be established here in the U.S. because there's a town here in the U.S. called Silent Hill. But then you take the Silent Hill game and you take it all the way to Japan. It's kind of... I, I hope they don't try to ruin it for the fans. Like I said, this one's... This one's a little interesting, to say the least. I really am interested to see how this will go. Like, I want this one to be successful, obviously, because this is... Honestly... Th this honestly looks phenomenal. It really does look phenomenal. Like, the trailer will look phenomenal. Like I said, it looked like Forbidden Siren. That is my first thought I thought of. I thought it was going to be a Forbidden Siren game. You know, that was my first thought process. So, yeah, it was, it was really, really, really surprising and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it, it really is interesting. So, yeah, I'm excited to see, um, like, whenever that will be released and whenever that will, um, you know catch on and stuff like that so i'm interested to see but anyways i'm gonna end the stream so i can actually go ahead and upload this to youtube but we're also going to switch games or we're, we're all <laughs> i can't just end the stream on this note so we're gonna go ahead and uh switch games real quick uh let me see what do i want to switch it to um you know what? I'll do Battlefield 2042. How about that? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and load up Battlefield 2042 and I'll start back up the stream. So give me guys just a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> 